All right, time for a look at the uh, the arts and uh, lifestyle. Big night last night. Did you enjoy the show? I enjoyed the Grammy show. Yeah, yeah, moments were great. Other moments were, huh? It was all right. Yeah. I kind of liked it. Okay. Show me what you thought were the highlights. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't show you any highlights from Vancouver Island talent. Uh, Oak Bay train Carly Rae Jepsen went home empty-handed, so did Victoria's Pierce Henwood and Nick Blasco, who were nominated for Best Long Form Video for their work with Tegan and Sarah. The only Canadian actually to walk away with the Grammy Award last night was Toronto's Drake. He uh, picked up Best Rap Album. Uh, nobody actually dominated. Uh, this year, the Grammy Awards spread the wells. A big night for the Black Keys. The band won three rock Grammys. Zach Brown Band won Best Country Album for Uncaged. And then there was R and newcomer Frank Ocean. He won twice, including Best Urban Contemporary Album for Channel Orange. And it is Monday and Family Day. So this afternoon we visited one of the capital region's most popular child-friendly eateries, Crumbsby's. Rowan is not fond of bugs, no. but makes an exception for these. Love bugs. Why did you choose the love bugs? Because I like their hearts. As the four-year-old adjusts her cupcake critters, her brother Axel drives a truck while his neighbor shakes one. Well, I've always had little people wandering around, so it's not new to me. My background's all early childhood, and I've, I'm a mother of three, so... So four years ago, Maria Elwood decided to create Crumbsby's, where people of all ages can eat together. The goal is to have something for everybody. From sweet treats, such as these cupcakes and Krispies, to savory meals, such as this egg burrito. I've got the whole wheat tortilla. I'm putting on our spinach and some cheddar to make everything stick together. This is our natural smoked ham. All the meat hormone-free, antibiotic-free, and ethically raised. We all are watching what we're eating and we're all being a little bit more aware of where our food is coming from. Then eggs are added, mixed with peppers, onion, and cumin, before being wrapped and placed on the grill. The final product served with sour cream, salsa, and fruit. It's just good old-fashioned food. I, I think that's what people want. I think they want real, and I think they want to see real life. Along with eating, Crumbsby's is a place where friends talk, kids draw, and families read together. I, I feel like I'm on a mission um, to get us to remember our community as a whole. Including those who love eating bugs. And there are two Crumbsby locations. Uh, the one we showed you is in Oak Bay's Estevan Village. The other one's in Royal Oak at 4525 West Saanich Road. You can find out the details about both of them by visiting crumbsbys.com. Well, finally this hour, uh, a French-trained chef in Tokyo using an unexpected ingredient at his fine dining restaurant, dirt. Yeah, Toshia Tanabe is attempting to balance ocean flavors as it is a seafood restaurant with the taste of earth. His multi-course dinner includes dirt soup, potato with dirt sauce, a main course, flounder and risotto with dirt, dessert, dirt ice cream. The nutrient-rich soil is lab-tested before being mixed into the menu. The cost, $110 per person. <laughs> Where do you find that stuff? Yeah, Would some, you, though? Some, uh, I don't know. I don't think they so. They asked some of the people what they thought, and they felt... We probably interested. eat more dirt on a given day than we realize. That, you know, without, what without do you mean by that? Well, that, I don't know. You know. I was just saying you're the voice of authority dirt. saying that we, we eat dirt. I just was wondering where you're getting that from. One of our kids used to eat a lot of dirt when he was little. And somebody told us it was because he was lacking minerals. And that's why kids do that. Let's talk about the Grammys. Did you enjoy it? Uh, how'd you like Carrie Underwood's dress? I thought it was fantastic. How did it look on your TV? No, no feed? No live feed? I thought, we had the, I thought we had the feed set up, sorry. You promised a new TV by the Oscars though, right? Pardon me? <laughs> there it is. Now we can't really see the, the dress. I guess it's still warming up. We truly have beaten that gag to death, haven't we? It's, it's over. You know, as long as, over. as long as you keep enjoying it, that's all. <laughs> Thank you, Sparky. Uh -huh. CTV News at 6 is next.